know, your hair pictures always do really well, but whenever you post a picture of yourself, all of a sudden it blows up. So I've started just sharing a little bit more of my life here and there and finding that the more that I do that, the more that I see referrals come in. Um, so I've been, you know, getting used to taking selfies. And then I also partnered with a good friend of mine who's a photographer. So we do a trade where I work on her hair and she does some wow. a few photo shoots for me every couple of months. And so I have a few peppered in there, a few like kind of professional quality pictures, just, you know, of me in my favorite coffee shop or in my apartment. But I'm also just like chilling in front of the mirror in my living room, being goofy, taking selfies with my cat. They love pretty pictures of hair, but they don't know anything about the technical aspect of hair. So while I try to be really educational in my captions of my hair posts, I do love when my guests are super engaged. So when I ask them a personal question about myself or something really specific, I get a lot of I get a lot of good feedback from them. I did a post um, about a month ago where I asked I was traveling, and so I asked for some, you know, travel recommendations. Like when you're on a plane, what's your favorite skincare? And I got so much response, which was awesome. But I also learned a lot, and you know picked up a few good like skincare essentials to travel with. It's the truth is like I'm naturally kind of private and I don't I've never been an overshare online. So it's definitely I try to be really mindful of like what I'm sharing and how I'm sharing it. A few of those pictures are from my honeymoon, um, which you know, I was trying to be really focused in that moment. So I did, I knew I wanted to post a couple of things, stay active, but I also knew I didn't want to be on Instagram 24 seven on my honeymoon. So, yeah. you know, I do try to like plan it out and I do try to be really conscious of, you know, what I'm sharing and that it's personal, but not, not crossing the line of what I'm comfortable with, but still feels like real. to know you know exactly how to book with me um, because so many people do come to me through Instagram so I have you know the first screen is how they can book me when I'm available and then the second will usually be um, upcoming openings or you know I added I'm traveling next month so I added a Sunday which I almost never do so you know, trying to fill up trying to fill those windows of time here and there um, but just trying to educate my guests because, you know, the truth is DMing someone on Instagram to get your hair done is a totally new part of the experience. It's not something that people were doing two years ago. 